Hey, good morning, ladies. Happy Wednesday, February 24th. So I wanted to um, start out with my, and I love this, you know, you know where I always start out. It says, <clears throat> in my Jesus calling. So it starts out with, be still in the light of my presence while I communicate love to you. There is no force in the universe as powerful as my love. You are constantly aware of limitations, your own and others, but there is no limit to my love. It fills all space, time, and eternity. Isn't that cool? You know, I just love it. And so, um, got a couple things that's on my mind. And one is, um, you know, I do evictions. And, um, well, maybe you don't know. But anyway, my, my attorney, we do a lot of evictions. We do other stuff real estate closings mostly but we do some evictions and so and i hate it they have to evict people but i don't know i heard this on uh tv this morning and uh it made me think about when you you know when somebody's not paying or that they're disruptive or you know sometimes there's illegal activity and whatever you got to evict people and so you get it you go to court you take them to court and you, you file a lawsuit and you get a final judgment well, that's kind of what, um, that's kind of where we are with the devil. You know, he, he's been judged. He's done, right? And so, um, but then we wonder, like, why is he still here? You know, he's already judged. We got a final judgment against these people in this house, but they're still there. And they're mad because they got a judgment and they know what's coming. What's coming is the sheriff and the sheriff you know, is going to, then that's when all their stuff's going to get thrown out in the street and they are going to be out for good. And so the devil knows that the sheriff's coming, <laughs> the Lord's coming. And that day, you know, is when he's going to actually get thrown out. we got to get what they call writ of possession here, but the writ's coming. And so what happens is these tenants, they're so angry. They just tear the house up. They just tear the place up. Sometimes they remove all the appliances and, you know, they tear up the, uh, not all of them, many of them do not do that. But there are some that really do. And so, and that's what the devil's doing. He's just tearing everything up and he knows this day is coming and he doesn't know when because these people in the, that are being evicted, they don't know when that sheriff's coming. It's because it's a process. You got to file these papers. The judge has to do this. The sheriff has to do this. So, so we don't even know actually, you know, what day the sheriff's going to actually be able to come out there till he calls. <laughs> And we don't know what actually, that, isn't that funny how, you know, everything in life just sort of coincides. And the Lord showed me how my life does. But <clears throat> he, one of the things I've been bothered by is if. The word if is throughout the Bible. It's just throughout the Bible. And so I think like, you know, why is it always condition? But it's not a condition. It's sort of, it, it, what it is, is a choice. And that really helped me when I thought about that. You know, God helps us when we have, when we worry about stuff and we think about stuff. And I have to go ask him, you know, and um, sometimes, and a lot of times he gives me scripture, always gives me scripture. But sometimes he gives me little funny things. You know, when I had that plantar's fasciitis and the pastor at our church, you know, he said, I have victory over defeat. And so I, I claimed victory over defeat. And so, and my feet got better. Well, first of all, the Lord gave me some shoes that I could walk in so that my feet didn't hurt any longer. And then that plantar fasciitis didn't go away. Isn't that funny? And so recently I've been feeling really burdened. And so I talked to the Lord and I, and I started writing it down. I said, Lord, I feel like I have boulders on my shoulders. And then he said, you know, you got to claim no more boulders on your shoulders. And so I am, I'm just claiming it. And I had a really good day yesterday because I just got, you know, along with what Patty Fitzpatrick tells me, you know, put on the armor of God, the helmet of salvation, uh, the, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the feet of peace, you know, the sword of the spirit. You got to put all that on and, you know, you got to get into the scripture, but here's what uh the lord showed me in ephesians 4 nope it's ephesians 3 and it says uh it says by constantly using your faith the life of christ will be released deep inside you and the resting place of his love will become the very source and root of your life 
You know, God is the source and root of our life. You know, Holy Spirit, when we call on him, he's just the source and root of our life. And so then he led me to, and this is really good, uh, the Song of Solomon. You know, sometimes when you feel depressed, God just, it just takes me right to the Song of Solomon. He tells me how much he loves me. Isn't that cool? And so I'm going to start with, I think it's uh, two, four. It says, suddenly he transported me into his house of wine. He looked upon me with his unrelenting love divine. Revive me with your raisin cakes. Refresh me again with your apples. Help me and hold me for I am lovesick. I am longing for more. Yet how could I take more? But his left hand cradles my head while his right hand holds me close. I'm at rest in his love. Isn't that cool? Rest in his love, y'all. And then, um, <laughs> I, you know, I'm sharing, right? You know, it's kind of like, this is private stuff and personal stuff, but I, I just like to share. So, you know, here we go. It says, um, this is him talking back, you know, and speaking. It says, I am overcome by merely a glance from your worshiping eyes. For you have stolen my heart. I am held hostage by your love and by the graces of righteousness shining upon you. How satisfying to me, my equal, my bride. Your love is my finest wine, intoxicating and thrilling. And you get ready for this. You ready? And your sweet perfume praises, so exotic, so pleasing. Your loving words are like the honeycomb to me. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And so, you know, um, I look at if sometimes, you know, and there's people that say, I've heard, an, I've heard a, uh, uh, an ad one time for diet pills. It says if you take these diet pills and you eat a healthy, balanced diet, diet and exercise regularly you will lose weight <laughs> seriously <laughs> you know, for three hundred dollars you know you, you gotta take this diet pill though you know and then you gotta eat right and, and exercise regularly and we guarantee you lose weight you know <laughs> how's that for a guarantee but god is saying you know it's a choice you can come to me but we he wants us to but he gets where he wants us to you know when a husband asks a, bro a woman to marry her he doesn't say you know if you don't marry me i'm going to do this or if you marry me you're going to be rich you know i mean he doesn't do that he just shows his love to her and he shows how much he loves her and then he says will you marry me it's a choice he gives her that choice we have that choice <laughs> we have a choice to love him, but he gives us that love for him. You know, we can't do it on our own. He gives us that love, but we have a choice to follow. You know, we can follow, not follow. He is saying, come, be my bride, marry me. But if you don't know who he is and you don't know how much he loves you, you may not say yes. You know, the ones that don't know him, they don't say yes. They don't say okay, you know. They don't accept the gift. They don't take the ring, you know. So, Lord, I thank you for the ones that have said yes. I thank you for the women here at this kitchen table that love you with all their heart. Father, just uh, just speak to them in such a wonderful way today, Lord. Lift up their spirits. And, Father, just show them that they are your bride and how precious they are to you in every way and there's nothing that they can do that will make you go away there's nothing you never divorce it's a never divorce thing it's a marriage with no ever thought of divorce not ever and so i thank you lord for your love and your grace and your mercy and for this day in jesus name amen i see you later i love you and jesus loves you so much more bye